You may remember a while back talking about mitochondria and the fact that they do contain some of their own DNA. So if we're talking about inheritance and inheriting genes, which is DNA, we've got to touch on the mitochondria. We can't forget about them. Uh, well, it may not be a large portion of DNA that we, we get from mitochondria. It is still a portion, and that must be taken into consideration. So extra chromosome or mitochondrial inheritance, some genes are actually in the mitochondria. All mitochondrial genes are transmitted only by the mother, meaning all of the mitochondria that you've received come from the, your mother, come from the female side. Unusual muscle disorders and neurological problems have been linked to these particular genes. So this means if the mother's affected, all of the children will be affected. If the father's affected, all of the children will be unaffected because you get your mitochondria from your mother. So because of this, if the mitochondria come from mom, even though you get all your mitochondria from your mom, you may not always get a mutated mitochondria. Well, how is this possible? It kind of involves the dice here. We kind of roll the dice. Um, depends on what percentage of mitochondria mom has that are mutated. So we look at this as kind of a good summary here. So we have our mitochondria in our mother, a mother with no symptoms, but we have some mutated mitochondria. Well, the number of mitochondria, well, some of those are transferred to the mature egg. So if you're unlucky and you get a high percentage of the mutated ones, you can have up to 80% of mutated um, mitochondria in the egg, which will result in the offspring um, having that percentage. Or if you're a little luckier, you get half and half. Or if you're even a little bit more lucky, uh, you only get kind of 20% of mutated. Again, the sperm contributes no mitochondria. It only comes from the mother. So a child with severe disease, potentially, if there's 80% mutated, a child could have a mild disease if it's 50%, or a child could have no disease or very little signs of disease if only 20% are mutated. So this is how 20% mutant mitochondria from mom. How do you like your odds? Meaning, it depends on which ones you get of those 20%. You could get some that are all 100% clean, or in this case, you get 80% of the mutated ones. So this is where luck or unluck the draw comes into play. But all of your mitochondria, good, bad, or indifferent, you can blame your mother for that.